eat all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the Warm and the Fasting Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in UK. And welcome to Painting Guide number 36. Today is the 21st of June 2018 and this part of the painting guide we're going to be doing a noxious blithe bringer of the Death Guard Legion following their fall to corruption. So we can take a closer look here at our model, what we have here at the disposal. So this is quite a huge model. I am uncertain if I think it's Mark III armor, which is a bit corrupted and makes it look a little bit bigger than usual. And it has a huge uh, bone protruding from its back with a huge bell on top of it. So this is going to be an interesting model to do. So what we're going to do here, since you know, as you can see, it's already been prepared by my this, this, its owner. This is a commission, part of the commission, which I'm doing for another person. So what we're gonna do, it's, it already has green painted on it, so what we're gonna do is make, paint the main armor. For that we're gonna be using record flesh. I'm going for the bit darker tone because I think it works better with when you have a green background like this. Then we're gonna paint up the metallics, and for that we're gonna use lead belcher. Then we're gonna paint up the shoulder pads and other certain areas with the green. Even if they are already green, I'm gonna go for a little bit darker tone. For that, we're gonna use Castellan Green. Then, for uh, uh, areas where it could be needed, uh, I was thinking of now the bones are already painted, but for those bones that aren't, uh, I am thinking about using a Mornfang Brown as a base. And then we're gonna be carefully dry brushing it to sharp the bone on top of that to, for, to paint on the bones uh, bringing out. Then we're gonna be for all the tentacles because there are a few. We're gonna be painting painting flayed one flesh on top of that. Then uh, for uh, any leather where it might be, we're gonna be using Doom Ball Brown. Then, for any guts that's spilling out from this one, we're going to be using Flayed Sun's Scarlet. And then, for the robes, which you can see that he has here on the front, we're going to be using Screamer Pink to paint up. Then, we're going to be painting up the, with a little bit of Agrax, Agrax Earth, Earth Shade on, 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 the, on the Record Flesh armor. So, in a quick conclusion, what we're going to do is Record Flesh on the main armor. Lead Belcher on the metallics, Castellan Green for the shoulder pads, Mornfang Brown at the base for the bones protruding out from the armor. We shove the bone on to, uh, carefully dry brush on top of that. Flayed one fl flesh on the on the tentacles, Doom Ball Brown on the leather, Everson Scarlet for uh, guts spilling out, Screamer Pink for the sh for the cape that he's wearing on his front and back. And then Agrax Earth Shade on his uh, main armor. So now you know what I'm gonna do for the next step. So see you all in the next step, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 2 of this painting guide. Today is the 27th of July 2018. Let's go into detail and check out what we have been doing with the model so far. So, considering under the circumstances, I think it turns out quite alright. Um, as always, I prefer to paint my models in separate parts so it's easier to reach everything without clunking with the color pencils everywhere and yeah so I do really try my best. So what we're gonna start out with this one first of all we're gonna paint up the cables and I think also the nurgling which hangs from the side for that we're gonna use move to green. Then for the bones protruding from the armor I think I'm gonna be using Brightland flesh shade. Then for the actual armor that he's wearing, I'm going to be using Agrax Earthshade. And then we're going to finish off the model by applying Nun Oil. 
So in a quick conclusion what we're gonna do for the next step is Mult Green for the Nurglin and the cables that he's wearing. Reclan Flesh Shade uh, on top of the bones protruding from his armor. Agrex Earth Shade on the armor he's wearing and then none oil all over the model. Now you know what we're gonna do for the next step to see on in the next step part one. So again, I actually missed one part and that's... I, I simply blame the wet, hot summer that we have at the moment. My brain is completely fried and I'm, I'm a little bit stressed out. As you can see he's also wearing robes. For those we're gonna be applying Screamer Pink on top. So now you know what we're gonna do for the next step. See you around everybody. Hello everyone and welcome back to step 3 of this painting guide. Today is the 22nd of November 2018 and man has it been some time since the last update. There has been almost more or less three months since the last update yeah, so it's been uh, quite a while <laughs> a lot of things have gotten in the way since I got to re uh, record the last time and I decided I would I put these on hold because I felt I had a more important things to do first the studies and then uh, moving out yeah. and I should m mention that this is a video that's actually recorded in the new home uh, or temporary home I would say it doesn't uh, it's not specified how long I will be able to live here so we'll see but either way so as you can see I have two here at my disposal so we can take a closer look at them I must apologize for the lighting uh, unfortunately uh, I uh, ended up on a small time ha had some short shortage of time because after moving uh, when I had uh, and I'm still in the process of moving the guy who commissioned me to paint these he said well, I'm gonna go come over and pick up the things that you've painted for me, so... Yeah, so that means that I had to do a quick video recording and it's unfortunate that because Sweden has uh, been struck by the less daylight time outside, so we it's gonna get dark very quick and I would say that the lightning, even though I have lamps in this new home, they are insufficient in... Uh, in and uh, in comparison with the sunlight, so I would have preferred to have that. By the way, I think these turn out quite good actually, and I'm quite pleased with them. And so, but that's more or less everything I had for this part of the painting guide. Thank you very much for watching this painting guide. Don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos, and also leave comments on things I'm doing good to so keep on doing them, and leave negativity on things I'm doing bad to so really improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining, or simply inspiring. And I'm also on Facebook these days. There's a link down in the description. Check it out and see if you like it. I try and update more regularly there than I do here on YouTube. Not by much, but a little to make a difference. Uh, but with that said, thank you very much for watching this part of the painting guide. Death to the false emperor. Bye.